Good morning, traders. <clears throat> I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures, downtown Chicago here. Friday morning, we're here to talk to you about the grain markets. Okay, the corn market, our first chart of corn here, you can see gap and go from Sunday night here. You got four days of higher highs and higher lows. And this is what happens when you maybe have the wettest spring we've ever had and the managed funds are short record amounts of corn here. So forget about trade wars with China, USA here. Monday night's crop conditions and where we're at on the corn planting is going to be paramount importance. Maybe, maybe 50% of this U.S. corn is planted and typically this time of the year it's 80 or 90%. So uh, there are rains in the forecast next week. There are some similarities here to 1993 and, and some of this weather forecasting that calls for a wetter June here going into next month. So just really, really important that it dries out, warms up, and the U.S. farmer can plant corn. So Monday night's crop conditions, really important. Uh, okay, the soybean market here, you can see the next chart. Soybeans now getting up into the gap area, and this is what markets do. And, you know, this rally that we've seen this week in soybeans, perhaps it's going to be held back by large supply and small demand. So we'll have to see about that. If corn keeps going up, perhaps soybeans are going to keep going up. But uh, certainly uh, trade wars are real, but also slow planning is real here too. So kind of got the eye of everybody and uh, Monday night's planning intentions really important here. Uh, you know, I saw a news uh, headline this week, United Nations came out and said, meat production in the world today for the first time is gonna decline in 20 years due to the ASF in China. So there's Asian swine flu in China, big news, and just meat production, which is just gigantic in our country, hogs, chicken, cattle, turkey, uh, but with China and in the situation that they're in, meat production going lower. First time in 20 years. Now, does that change anything? The, the, the population of China is still the same. The consumer of the world wants protein, hence the demand for corn and soybean meal. But just interesting times that we're going through here. And, uh, and then the wheat market, we got the chart of wheat here. The chart on wheat look good here. You know, you've got short covering. The managed funds have been short wheat forever here. Certainly corn going up helps wheat go up. So you've got some, some short covering going on and the charts in wheat look really, really good. So um, we'll kind of see demand is the key. Exports are really important. And uh, these trade wars, like I mentioned, they are real. Now President Trump and the Chinese leader are going to meet at the, uh, later in June here, and perhaps we can get this out of the way here. Very unproductive for China and USA to, to fight back and forth. And uh, President Trump needs a victory here going into the 2020 re-election campaign. So we'll keep talking about all of that. Everybody have an excellent weekend.